In this video, we are going to learn how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam as shown in figure. So the statement is given as draw shear force and bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam AB 1.5 meter long is loaded as shown in figure. So this is the cantilever beam AB of length 1.5 meter and carrying a uniformly distributed load of 1 kN per meter over a length of 1 meter and there is one point load of 2 kN acting on the beam at point B. So for this setup, we have to draw shear force and bending moment diagrams. So first of all, I will draw the free body diagram for this beam section. Here first we have to convert this UDL into point load. So to convert this, I will multiply this UDL value that is 1 kN per meter with the length over which the UDL act that is 1 meter. So here I will get the point load of 1 kN. Now this calculated point load is act on the midpoint of length over which the UDL act. Now this type of problem we are going to solve in 3 steps. In the first step, we have to calculate the value of support reaction force RA. So to calculate this value, I will use the condition of equilibrium that is summation of Fy equal to 0. That means addition of all forces in the vertical axis equal to 0. While doing the addition of all vertical forces, I will consider upward forces as positive and downward forces as negative. Here R is the vertical reaction force. So I will add this force with plus sign. And the converted point load is acting on the beam in the downward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will add this 1 kN force with negative sign. And also there is one point load of 2 kN in the downward direction. So I will add this 2 kN downward force with negative sign. So from this, I will get the value of reaction force RA, 3 kN. So now with the help of this calculated value of RA, I will further calculate the values of shear forces at all the points of beam. So the next step is calculations of shear forces. And for shear force calculations, our sign convention is upward forces are considered as positive and downward forces are considered as negative. And here I will start the shear force calculation from left hand side of the beam. For cantilever beam, while calculating the shear force at a particular point load, you should calculate shear force values for left side and right side of that particular point load. But while calculating the shear force at uniformly distributed load, that is UDL, you should calculate shear force values at start point and end point of UDL. That is shear force at point A and shear force at point C, we need to calculate. But in the problem, at point A, there is reaction force RA and this is the point load. And as it is point load, hence I will calculate the shear force values for left side and right side of point A. Therefore, first to calculate shear force at point A to its left, that is SF at A to the left equal to so as you can see, there is no force acting at left side of point A. Therefore, SF at A to the left equal to 0 kN. So to draw a shear force diagram, I will first draw a horizontal reference line of 0 kN shear force. So here I will mark the point of 0 kN shear force on the reference line. Now if I go to the section to the right of point A, then there is reaction force RA in the upward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will consider upward force as positive. So here the shear force is plus 3 kN. Here as the shear force value is positive, hence I will mark the point of 3 kN shear force above the reference line of 0 kN shear force. And I will connect these two points with the vertical line. 
Now the point C is the end point of UDL. So I'm taking section to the point C that is SF at point C. And here I'll carry forward previous value of shear force up to point A to its right, which is 3 kN. And to the left side of point C, there is UDL of 1 kN per meter that we had converted into point load of 1 kN in the downward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will consider downward force as negative. So I will add this converted point load with negative sign. So by calculating, this will get the shear force value at point C as 2 kN. Here as the shear force value is positive, hence I will mark the point of 2 kN shear force above the reference line of 0 kN shear force. And here the type of load is UDL over length 1 meter. Hence to draw shear force diagram, I will indicate UDL with an inclined line. So I will connect these two points with inclined line. Now at point B, there is point load. Therefore, first to calculate shear force at point B to its left, that is SF at P to the left, equal to. So here I will carry forward previous value of shear force up to point C, which is 2 kN. And when we go to the left of point P, then there is no forces acting at the left of point P. Therefore, SF at P to the left equal to 2 kN. Here, as you can see, there is no variation in shear force values. Hence, I will make the horizontal line with shear force value as 2 kN. Now, next to calculate shear force at point P to its right, that is SF at point B to its right equal to. So, here I will carry forward previous value of shear force up to point P to its left, which is 2 kN. And when we go to the right side of point P, then there is one point load in the downward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will consider downward force as negative. So here I will add this point load of 2 kN with negative sign. So here plus 2 kN minus 2 kN gives me the value of shear force at 0 kN. That is SF at point P to its right equal to 0 kN. And I will connect these two points with the vertical line. And here in shear force diagram, whatever the portion drawn above the reference line, I will show this by plus sign. So here I have completed the shear force diagram. Now the next step is calculations of bending moment. The bending moment at a section of beam is calculated as the algebraic sum of moment of all the forces acting on one side of the section. So to calculate bending moment, we can start either from left end of beam or from right end of beam. Here I will start from the right side. So whenever you are calculating the bending moments, you should remember these conditions. So here for cantilever beam, the condition is at the free end, the bending moment will be zero. That is BM suffix B equal to zero kN meter. So to draw bending moment, Firstly, I will draw the reference line of 0 kN meter bending moment. So, I will mark this value with a point on the reference line. So, now we have to calculate bending moment at point C. Here, in case of cantilever beam, while you are doing the calculations for bending moment at a particular point, you should always add moment of all the forces present from the free end of cantilever beam up to that particular point at which we are calculating the bending moment. And for bending moment calculations, our sign convention is for sagging effect of beam, the force is considered as positive. And for hugging effect of beam, the force is considered as negative. So at point load of 2 kN, due to this, the beam shows hugging effect. And for hugging effect of beam, I will consider this force as negative. So I will add this point load of 2 kN with negative sign. And I will multiply this point load with the distance from point of action of force, that is 0.5 meter. So by calculating, 
this will get the value minus 1 kN meter. So as it is negative value of bending moment, hence I will mark this point below the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter. And to draw bending moment, I will join these two points with inclined line. Now next we have to calculate the bending moment at point A. Here the right hand side of point A, there is UDL of 1 kN per meter that we had converted into point load of 1 kN. Due to this, the beam shows hugging effect. And for hugging effect of beam, I will consider this converted point load as negative. So I will add this converted point load with negative sign. And I will multiply this converted point load with the distance from point of action of force that is 0.5 meter and also there is one point load of 2 kN so due to this the beam shows hugging effect and for hugging effect of beam I will consider this point load as negative so here I will add this point load with negative sign and I will multiply this point load with the distance from point of action of force that is 1.5 meter so by calculating this will get the value minus 3.5 kN meter. So as it is negative value of bending moment, hence I will mark this point of bending moment below the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter. And to draw bending moment, I will indicate UDL with a parabolic curve. Hence I will join these two points with a parabolic curve. Now since I can see this bending moment diagram is drawn below the reference line of 0 kN meter bending moment, hence I will show this portion by minus sign. So here I have completed the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam.